Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. First year first grade teacher Frank Condasso Jr. says the venture of writing a children's book has been something he's always wanted to do for some time. In art and you know you see some of the things that I've done like uh, with Kokomo and then uh, I have a little sea hick here too that I painted right there. <laughs> but you know and then yeah so I got certified in fine arts I think 2018 and then kind of just been really putting that to use, I guess, and identifying that I, I do have this talent and I can make something of it. The Amu Luhan Elementary School teacher said the CHEC and the thing that was different was inspired by past personal experiences of his when he was a kid and even what he sees as an educator. The story is about being different, right? And I guess, you know, Guam is a melting pot, so it was kind of easy to, to do that because everybody is so different. Um, but I think the biggest thing was to kind of acknowledge that there are differences because, you know, it, we're going to have some, some individuals who are brought up to really, I guess, dismiss those things and kind of, you know, grow a hatred towards it. And we see it around the world, right? Condasso says the project was supported in part by a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts, the Guam Council on the Arts and Humanities Agency, the Government of Guam, and the Office of the Governor. The book, which was released back in early January of this year, has been well received, and Condasso is extremely humbled. A lot of the feedback has been really good, and you know, I've, I've received some to where, you know, I guess some kids that uh, the parents might read it to, the, uh, the book to or any book really, they, they have like the, the, a shorter attention span, but for, for mine, you know, they, they say that they, they're able to sit through it and relate to it. And then I've received some where in the back of the book, there's a little kind of like a glossary uh, that identifies what's in the book. So we have different characters in there and I identify them as like the Helitai, the Coco, but in the back it has like kind of the English translations. Mm -hmm. So they're able to put the two together. And that was very important too, in order to incorporate Chamorro language, but then, you know, still allow readers who aren't from Guam to understand what's happening. Glancing at the second page, you see a special dedication to his little buddy, Christian. He's four years old, uh, just turned four in December, and he was a huge inspiration on that just because so a lot of things that I've done, you know, I've done PBS University and then even in lesson planning now, a lot of the things that I've done have been mostly because the resources aren't out there. So, you know, like I wanted to do a song on responsibility. So I had to make a song about specifically what I wanted to talk about. And with the book, you know, the uh, a child's mind is so impressionable. So especially my nephew and Talking about differences was something I, you know, want to address early on. If you would like to purchase a copy or two of the CHEC and the thing that was different for your very own, head on over to discoverthecheck.com. The book is available in paperback, hardcover, and digital copies. Hardcover copies can also be purchased at the CIFA Learning Academy Charter School. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfritz.